Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable one-year-old little boy. Welcome back to week three of the pantry freezer challenge. I hope everyone is doing well and it hasn't been too painful for you guys. I am starting out this week with a new recipe. Of course, I had everything on hand. I am making Mongolian um, beef in the crock pot and I'll make sure to leave the recipe in the description box. So, so far, all I've got in my crock pot are water, olive oil, some um, shredded carrots, I'm adding some garlic, I'm adding way more than the recipe calls for because you can never have too much garlic or too much cheese. And then I am adding in my brown sugar and I'm adding in some soy sauce. And I love Mongolian beef. I'm just gonna give this a stir. And I've already prepared my flank steak. So I have um, almost two pounds of flank steak in here. I don't know if you can see, there's a little bit of a glare. I have almost two pounds of flank steak that I thinly sliced and then in a Ziploc bag, I just added some um, cornstarch and then I coated it. And so now I'm just going to drop this beef in the crock pot. And it says you can cook this on high or low. You can cook it on high for, I think two hours, two to three hours, or low for four to five hours. And I'm a low um, crock pot cooker. I prefer to cook things on low, I just do. So I'm just gonna give this a stir. And I'm probably gonna, well I know, I'm gonna serve this with some uh, steamed rice, probably some green beans. Not quite sure yet. And I will bring you guys back, of course, to show you how everything turned out. So here is the crock pot Mongolian beef. Howard and I tried it. It is actually good. There are a few tweaks that I would make, make, to, make to it next time I make it. So this recipe calls for water. And normally when I'm making a recipe, I don't put water in the crock pot at all. Um, so I probably would leave it out. I think it watered it down just a little bit. I would probably play with some of the spices and seasonings to add some more to it. But it's definitely a good base, a good starter recipe. And I'm serving it over some steamed jasmine rice and some green onions. We're also having green beans with it. The green beans are from Aldi. When I bought these green beans, I bought two. So I already made one. This is the last one in the freezer that we're using up. Not a big fan of it at all. These are um, microwavable green beans. You're supposed to steam them, but I actually made mine on the stove top with a little bit of olive oil, added in some garlic salt with it. And then we are also having these chicken spring rolls from Trader Joe's. As long as I've been shopping at Trader Joe's, I don't think I've ever had their spring rolls. So we're gonna try these out tonight. And here is what the meat looks like in the crock pot. Um, it's very, I mean, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of fat on this flank steak. So there's a lot of grease in here as well. So when it solidifies overnight, I'll take that, that grease off. But this is what it looks like. Like I said, it's a good starter, but it just needs a few tweaks. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight. And we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having roasted chicken. And so this is what I use to season the chicken. Um, I've been using this for years, I love this stuff. It's freeze dried herbs and uh, there's actually no salt in here. And then um, the other seasoning that I used is this Lowry's chicken and poultry seasoning and rub, I love this stuff. And again, here is the chicken on our plate. I also used a couple of cans of green beans from Aldi, seasoned them with some onion, seasoned salt, and I think that's about it. 
My husband loves stovetop and we had a ton of stovetop, well not a ton, we had we have two more boxes. So I decided to make him some stovetop. I don't care for it, but I figured it'd be perfect with the chicken tonight. And then from our freezer, I am using these scallopini potatoes from Trader Joe's that I brought, bought a while back ago and I tasted it, it's okay. It's definitely not something that I feel like I would need to make again. And that is of course Harrison in the background. So this is my plate and this is Howard's plate and this is what we are having for dinner tonight. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight we are having spaghetti with meat sauce. I had the meat sauce in my freezer from when I made a big batch earlier and uh, we are finishing up the spaghetti noodles that I had in the pantry as well. For dessert we are having this pound cake from Aldi and I think I have bought and made the lemon pound cake before but this is just their regular pound cake and it's actually pretty good. So I've got, uh, I've got it right here, just wanted to show it to you guys. It's very tender, has a very soft crumb, and it's pretty good. So I would definitely buy it again. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having some beer battered cod fillets that I picked up from Aldi a while back. These were in my freezer and I just cooked them in the air fryer. And then we are also having some pastoroni that I had in my pantry, so I made that. And then we had some leftover green beans from the roasted chicken that I made the other night that was in the freezer as well. And so here it is on the plate. And I just wanted to mention to you guys that Frugal Mama in the Woods, she is another YouTuber. She has been doing this challenge with me from the beginning. Definitely go and check out her channel. I'll link her channel in the description box. She makes dinner almost every single night. So definitely go check her out. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are eating from our pantry and freezer. So this is in, was in my pantry and it called for boneless, skinless chicken thighs and smoked sausage. I had both in my freezer, so I used um, those to make the gumbo. And if you remember, I don't know, I guess it's been a few weeks ago, I tried out this other gumbo that I had in my pantry as well. And I said, we didn't care for this one at all but we do really like this one. And I would definitely buy this, this again. Blair, very, why can I talk? Very flavorful, really good. Um, and Howard and I both really like it a lot. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time.